Hey everybody, it's Gina here from Gina Makes It. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Sunday video. In today's video, I am creating a fun little Easter inspired layout inside of my what is March and April journal. It was previously the March journal, but now it is my March and April journal because we are well into April and I'm still working in it. So I decided to create a little basket out of some scraps of coffee dyed paper and old vintage papers. And I'm just basically going to weave these papers together to create a little basket that a bunny is going to sit inside. And I'm just doing this the same way you would create like a lattice on top of a pie. I cut out all of my papers and I sized them randomly. And I'm just going to lay them down vertically. And then I'm also going to lay them down horizontally but I'm going to lift every other piece of paper to create that basket weave effect. This is kind of a tedious project, but not really, because once you start aligning them in vertically and horizontally, they start to fit snugly together. So it's not like they're loose and they're moving around a lot. They are creating like a nice little package as I'm kind of pushing up the horizontal ones and pushing in the vertical ones. Once I get it to where I want it to be as far as size is concerned, I'm just going to trim off the top the bottom and both sides and I'm going to go around the perimeter with my sewing machine because you know I can't ever do anything without sewing on it and I thought the sewing would not only add a little bit of texture to it but it'll also kind of keep it together a little bit and it really did actually work to keep it together. Once I finish sewing, I'm going to trim the top of the basket and I'm going to place it on this piece of avocado dyed cardstock. I picked this one because it had a nice transfer of a doily at the bottom and I really liked the way that looked peeking through underneath the basket. And at this point I wasn't really sure how far I was going to take this or what exactly I was going to do. I just had this idea of creating a bunny inside of a basket made out of paper scraps and like antique papers so that's kind of what was fueling this whole project so once I finish trimming and sewing I pull out some antique lace to add to the top of the basket and also to act as my basket handle and I'm not really quite sure which to use as the basket handle because I want to see what the rabbit or the little bunny looks like on the inside. So I just glued two layers of this antique lace at the top. I liked the way the scallop looked because it really reminded me of the top of the basket. And then I cut out my little bunny that's going to go inside so I could properly see how the handle is going to look with the bunny. This bunny came from one of the newer kits in the graphic fair premium membership site one of the, I think it was like the most recent Easter one and I just sized it and printed it out onto some photo paper to get a nice deep dark clean image and then I cut it out right up against the edge I don't leave a white edge or border on it like I have in the past this one I am cutting directly out When I get 
get my little bunny cut out, I place him inside the basket and I really like the way he looks. And so now I'm able to properly figure out how I want my basket handle to go around the edge. I did have a few camera issues when I was filming this and so I kind of fast forwarded to this part. I added my little bunny and I put one ear inside the basket handle and one ear outside of the basket handle and I added some antique tatting to the top of it and I glued him down and I trimmed that avocado dyed cardstock and I just glued him right inside of my journal. So now I'm just adding a little embellishment I made out of some vintage fabric and a vintage button and I am adding a piece of stationery to the left hand side because I know I want to tuck my Easter pictures inside of this page. Just some pictures of some pastries that I made for Easter and just some other things going on and so I just thought that this floral piece of stationery looked so pretty next to my little bunny inside of my journal. That's going to wrap up today's video. I hope you were inspired to make your own bunny in a basket. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel and supporting my little Etsy store. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you next time.